hey guys and welcome back to today's video we are doing a weekly reset this is what we're doing today is saturday and guys it is 6 45 in the morning so what i'm going to do today is show you how i tidy up my house so that I can have the rest of the Saturday to relax and do whatever I want to do. If I want to go to the mall, if I want to go um, just out and chill with babe, whatever it is I want to do, I have the entire day to do it because I started early. So these are some of the tricks that I am going to show you that I do so that I can have my Saturday for myself. Now, you always hear me say, don't be out all over the place on a Saturday you ain't clean your house. But my mama always told me, stop telling people that they have a problem and you don't give them the solution to that problem. So guys, here is one solution to that problem. I'm actually give you two solutions to that problem so that you can fix it and you can become much better. Okay. The first thing you want to do is you want to get up early. That's one solution. Get up early so that you can have an early start and you can finish early so like i said i've been up since five o'clock because i had to take my daughter to work but still normally i'll be up early on a saturday okay whether during the week i'm up early too but you know normally i will lay there and i will meditate and pray and all of that but right now on a saturday I always have that mindset that I need to get up early because I want to clean up my house. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I am putting completely new bedding on the bed and I am doing this burrito. They call it the burrito roll to put your duvet insert in much easier. And to be honest, guys, I've tried this before. Epic fail. Epic fail. Today, I just did it without thinking about it. And yeah, she did it. She did that. I was like, oh shoot, it worked. <laughs> it worked and on camera. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm changing out my sheets um, <clears throat> and putting some new bedding in. I'm actually getting my bed ready for summer. So if you guys check back on Wednesday, you'll see what I really did with my bed because you're not going to see it in this video, okay? I could not figure out what I wanted to put on the bed, how I wanted to look yet. I was, I knew I had to make something for the bed, but I didn't know what colors I was going to go with on the bed. But I did, you know, I always use white sheets, so yeah so i'm putting this lightweight blanket on the sheets and who else does this happen to where you pull the sheet and then when you get to the end you realize it's turned wrong you got to go swig it around <laughs> i swear i hate that so the sheet that i just put on the bed is what i will be laying on during the week okay so I, i'll lay on that now this is the duvet cover i wanted to put two duvets in there but my other duvet does not have the ties for it. It was just a plain duvet. They don't have for me to tie it. So that's why I didn't use that one because I just felt like it will be moving. I need to order me another one um, so that I can, because I really wanted that. Even though it's going into the summertime, I still want it to look real fat and, you know, juicy. It's how I like my bed to look. Okay. So what I'm doing now, you saw where... I took all of the covers off of all of these pillows and I'm just putting the accent pillows back on the bed, just leaving them like that because I am not styling my bed as yet. I will style my bed either later this evening or I will do it on Sunday because then I would have decided and I would have done the idea that I have in mind, okay? So the trick number two to getting your space clean pretty quickly on a Saturday so you can have the rest of the day for yourself is during the week. You want to periodically do certain things. You don't want to leave everything for a Saturday. So here is what I do. 
During the week, of course, I keep my bed made. When I get out of my bed in the morning time, I make my bed. I ensure the way I lay on my bed, how I, you know, made, how I tuck my sheets, that it would end up lasting throughout the week. So that is another trick on how you tuck your sheets, how you put your sheets on the bed, the type of sheets that you have on your bed. It will make your whole process so much more easier for you. Okay, so that is one of the things that I do. Um, downstairs in the kitchen, I, you know, tidy up during the week, like almost every day I'm washing dishes when I cook. I don't cook every, every, every day. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. Or sometimes we're on the road and we eat, end up eating on the road and I don't, when I come home, I don't cook. Okay. So I vacuum this sofa every weekend. I was just doing it and the vacuum ran out of power. So I had to put it to charge and I decided to just move on to something else. I'm wiping off right here all of baby Zyler um, fingerprints off of the fireplace. Okay. And now we move into the bathroom. So here in the bathroom, what I'm doing is just putting away some of the things that I use during the week. And then I just have to wipe down my sink, my toilet. I had cleaned that the night before, so I don't have to clean it now. My shower, I'm going to clean my shower when I'm taking a shower is when I normally do my shower. Okay. I have some clothes to wash and I've decided that I am not going to put, um, have my clothes sitting there so long anymore. So I'm keeping them on top of this ottoman. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to wash the week's clothes and get that over with. Now guys, the cloth that I'm using is the one that I showed you that I got from Tumi. This is the first time I am using one of those. And I must say it worked out very well when, um, I wet it and I say, let me wipe the mirrors down with just using that and see how it dries and it dried good. So I would recommend those towels. So guys, sometimes I like to pull that broom out, especially how I just braided my hair the day before. I want to pull the broom out to sweep. It's not all the time I'm going to use the vacuum. I just feel like some the broom does it better sometimes, right? And plus I wanted to sweep off my baseboards and so forth. So I'm sweeping down the entire house and I am going to mop today. I'm not going to use my Swifter. When I'm doing more of a, it's not a deep clean because my house, you know, already did a deep clean already to it. So it's a semi deep clean. Okay. So that's when I pulled the mop out, not the Swifter. So guys, what I do, I be having some stuff to bring down them stairs and it's 13 steps. Yes, I counted them. Your girl be throwing them stuff down to the bottom and come pick them up. <laughs> okay, guys. So now we're on to my kitchen. Okay. The kitchen is not that untidy. It's untidy for me. Like I always tell you guys. Um, but it literally have probably about five or so pieces of dishes to wash and stuff just needed to put away. Now the day before baby and I went to the farmer's market and picked up some stuff. And they were sitting on the table because your girl was tired. So now I am basically just going to, I'm unpacking them so that they can get washed and everything when I'm finished. So when I'm getting ready to cook, I'm going to wash all of this stuff and then put those stuff away. So now, as you can see, I only have just a handful of dishes. It's just a handful of dishes to wash. I am going to clear just a part of the dishwasher because <laughs> we all know she hates clearing the dishwasher, right? So guys, this like literally it is, um, probably minutes to nine right now and I'm almost done. I am almost done. After I wash these one or two plates, then I just have to sweep mop and we are finished. So guys, this is just some of the tips during the week, do stuff, clean your stove. Every time you wash your dishes, wipe down your stove during the week, sweep the floors, 
mop the floors at least if you don't do it every day at least do it twice during the week for me especially that long entryway coming into the house that's where that traffic happens i wash i would sorry not wash but i would mop this floor during the week okay i keep saying i want to bring my swifter down because i use the mop into it but I use my Swifter upstairs a lot. So maybe I need another Swifter. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so guys, basically, like you, could, like I said, the kitchen was not that dirty. It just had some dishes there that my kids used. Uh, my two daughters used the day before. Okay. And I just washed those. Not the day before, but the night before. Well, that's the same thing, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> So guys, those are some of the tips that you can use to get your house clean quickly on a Saturday. If you're like me, I'm from the Caribbean, and that's when we normally clean our house, do that big clean, is on a Saturday so that we can have the rest of the day to relax and we can have Sunday to relax. So what I just did is I just took two bags of chicken out of the fridge. This is chicken that I've already seasoned, and I am cooking chicken soup today right so i gonna take i took that out and then i'm gonna let it defrost because like i said it's early in the morning and i will not be cooking it right now so guys i am finished because now guess what your girl is mopping so i did um dry out the mop as much because when i'm putting it on the floor i don't want it to be too wet and um i came upstairs and i am mopping everything and then once I mop downstairs, I am going to make me some plantain porridge. And I'm going to sit out on the porch. It's a tight kind of chilly today. A lot of wind blowing. But I am still going to sit out there just for a little bit and eat my porridge. And then decide what else I'm going to do for the day. Because I have the whole day ahead of me. The whole day. <laughs> Oh man, I checked the watch, the clock when I was um, finished mopping, about to make my porridge, and it was 9.02. So guys, I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching me clean my house, and I hope I inspired you. Uh, you can use the tips that I've used over the years that works for me, and get your house tidied up too. Bye and see you guys on Wednesday to see how I styled my bed. Come back to see that reveal, guys. It's going to be amazing. <laughs>